All right, JDs and Lettleman, today we are going to be doing a pretty simple brute force demonstration using Hydra and Burp Suite, uh, just to brute force a simple Python flask app that I have made, and it's just running on localhost. So step one, we're gonna open up Burp Suite. I'm just using Community Edition, and uh, it's free. You guys can follow along, so it's just a good option. Um, next, we're gonna open up where I have that server. We're gonna go back to Burp in the proxy tab, turn intercept on, and just log in with random details, in this case, username, test, password, test, and we'll log in. Uh, first of all, take note of where it is sending this data. So you can see we have slash, normally this would be like slash login.php, but because it's localhost for me, it's just slash. Uh, the next thing to take note of is the formatting here of username equal test and password equal test. So we will need that for the Hydra command in a moment. Uh, next, we can turn intercept off and also take note of the invalid username or password message. Uh, this will obviously vary from app to app, but you will also need this so Hydra knows when it has the correct login. The next step is we can close out of this and we can input the following Hydra command. Uh, as you can see, Hydra dash, uh, excuse me one second. Let me, actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reopen the browser and we are just gonna navigate to this command so I can break it down for you guys without it running. Firstly, you're gonna do Hydra dash L, lowercase L to specify a username. Uh, if you already know it, it would be uppercase and then a word list. If you don't know it and you wanna brute force username as well, but we know the username is admin, so it's lowercase l admin, then a capital P, and then your word list. In my case, it is top10m.txt. I've just made it verbose using the dash lowercase v, uppercase v flag. Then I'm specifying the 5000 port. Uh, in most cases, this won't be very useful. It defaults to port 80, uh, but if you are interested, it's dash s5000. Then the target, which is localhost, so 127.001 the method HTTP post form. And then the interesting part, uh, in quotes, we do slash to the path. So this could be slash login.php, uh, but naturally it is just my local host. So it's just gonna be slash, then a colon after that path. Uh, and then the formatting we've got convert suite. So username equal, and then you put in this variable to tell Hydra that this is the user field and password equal, and then we do a similar thing to tell it that this is the password field, and then a colon, and then we simply just put in the invalid user or pass method, uh, message, excuse me, and then we close it off just so Hydra knows when it actually has the correct password. Now, for the fun bit, we will go back here, uh, I'll close this just to make it pretty, and then we'll run this Hydra command again, Normally you get less output than this if you don't have the dash vv flag, uh, but this just makes it verbose for the sake of this video. I have a previous Hydra restore file, so it's just gonna take a moment to run, and then you're gonna see it trying all of these passwords. Uh, it's using a multi-threaded approach, and it's just going through this list of 10 million passwords. The password for the web app is password123 username admin, and I believe that is a couple hundred thousand lines down. And there we go. So you can see it has successfully finished the brute force attack. We can see login, admin, password, password, one, two, three. So that is a basic HTTP brute force using Hydra. Uh, I will be releasing some more in-depth tutorials of some more advanced things, uh, also different methods of brute forcing with Hydra like FTP and SSH. But for now, this is a pretty comprehensive guide of basic brute forces for basically any kind of web application with a login form similar to that. I'll also be doing some more advanced videos in terms of how do we get around captures, how do we get around rate limits, things like that using Hydra and also using custom Python. Um, but thanks for watching. I hope you got some value out of this video and peace.